Two dogs. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I call Mike Saban. Mr Speaker, it's a shame that this, um, the last member's uh, speech wasn't beamed into the New Zealand households at 6pm because then they might get to really see what the green agenda is all about. This absolute ridiculous notion that trying to support young people into work is about forcing them into work. Well, what part of the equation uh, does the Green Party and, and, and those in Labour land not get that the all care, no responsibility lifestyle on welfare is just not a go? And the reality is, Mr Speaker, is that over uh, a, a, the period, a period of nine years uh, of Labour and Green in charge, what we actually saw was a morphing of our welfare system uh, into a welfare trap. At its peak, some 350,000 people, uh, Mr Speaker, uh, beholden to the government for a benefit, a cost of $22 million a day, $8 billion a year, completely financially unsustainable, Mr Speaker, but more so the human capital cost, the human capital cost was far more. The loss of choices, the loss of opportunities, the loss of self-belief, purpose and hope in individuals who were sitting there beholden uh, to, a, to a government that at the time thought that throwing a few crumbs at them and keeping them beholden was a good way to stay in office. Well, that, that time has come to an end, Mr Speaker, because this government is prepared to tackle the challenge of welfare dependency because we back these young people. We back these young people to have a life, to have an opportunity and to put in place the, uh, the support and mentoring and the training and education and opportunities that these young people need uh, to get their lives back on track. Uh, we back them, Mr Speaker. At its heart, this bill deals with some 14,000 New Zealanders, uh, young teenage New Zealanders, uh, who in the absence of us taking this step, Mr Speaker, 90 per cent of them will be on a collision course with an adult benefit, and that's where they'll stay for some time, and that is unacceptable, Mr Speaker. This bill is about backing those young people rather than to leave them uh, uh, to sink or swim, because we know most of them uh, will sink. Mr Speaker, this is about us backing young children, uh, young people, Mr Speaker, with training, childcare education, management of their bills and mentoring. Mr Speaker, this is about us doing what young New Zealanders need, and I commend it to the House. Members, members this debate has concluded. The question is that the amendments recommended by the Social Services Committee by majority be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. Party votes called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 opposed. New Zealand First. Eight votes opposed. Māori Party. Two votes in favour. Mana. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One vote in favour. United Future. One in favour. Any other votes? Members, the ayes are 63, the noes are 57, the amendments are agreed to. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. Party votes called for. I'll ask the clerk for a party vote. New Zealand National. 59 votes in favour. New Zealand Labour. 34 votes opposed. Green Party. 14 opposed. New Zealand First. Eight opposed. Māori Party. Two votes in favour. Mana. One opposed. Act New Zealand. One in favour. United Future. One in favour. Any other votes? Members, the ayes are 63, the noes are 57. The motion is agreed to. Social Security, Youth Support and Work Focus Amendment Bill, second reading. This bill is set down for committee stage next sitting day. Call on Government Order of the Day number five. Interrupted debate.